So I see a lot of people recently asking a lot of questions on the law of assumption. And I've seen some explanations about it, which is not entirely right and not entirely how it actually works. And this is what I like to actually break down for you, because if you actually understand it properly, you will realize it's so, 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 so much more powerful than law of attraction. You are, in fact, you will probably never even mention law of attraction again if you actually understood how it works. So I'm going to dive deep into it in this video. But before I get into it, show real hit it. What's up guys, namaste, this is Shri Akashana here. And in this video, I wanna break down for you what is law of assumption? How does it actually work in comparison to what other people are actually putting out there? And why is it so much more powerful than law of attraction? Well, let's begin from understanding that Again, if you first time listening to this, then write it down inside your notebook, inside your journal, so you log it into that subconscious mind or type it inside the comments below to reaffirm the learning. And the first learning is that we don't attract what we want, we attract what we are. Okay, we don't attract what we want, we attract what we are. So a lot of the time when we are using law of attraction, our thought process is always, I want to attract something in my life. But if you want to attract something in your life, yet at the same time you don't attract what you want, then what's the point in wanting to attract something in your life? The difference between the law of assumption is, law of assumption is saying that you act as if, you assume that it's already done. You assume that it's already there. Your manifestation is already done, it's happening, right? You are already living that reality. You're assuming that the result is already done. What does that mean? If you put yourself in a scenario of um, my uh, uh, dream soulmates, the love of my life, my career, my exam results, it doesn't matter what you are manifesting. If you assume that it's already done and you are seeing those good grades, you're seeing the love of your life already, then what happens? You naturally become the vibrational frequency of the thing you want to attract. Therefore, the thing you want to attract actually comes your way. However, Here's the part where nobody's really speaking about, right? When the law of assumption and people are speaking about it, they're still saying, assume that everything's already done, assume you have it already, and then therefore you will attract the thing. Actually, it's not entirely true. Why? Well, first of all, if we look at everything, I like to look at everything like science, right? Because everything is science. The basics of science is saying that energy is everything and everything is energy. Meaning what? Thought is energy, meaning results is energy, action is energy, speech is energy, everything is energy. The results you want to attract in your life is energy. And then there's another um, uh, uh, research in science which also determines that no energy can be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred. What does this mean? It means that the thing that you want to attract into your life already exists. So you are not really creating a reality. You are purely just calling in something that is already in existence. So what happens with law of assumption? Well, the easiest way to explain this, and I love it when Bucky Fuller talks about everything like radio channels. It's that simple. Imagine that the love of your life, FM, is already playing right now. That's a new reality, okay? Imagine if the, the, um, your dream career, right? FM is already playing right now on the radio. Meaning that if you turn the dial, right? You turn the dial, you change your frequency. This is your vibrational frequency, right? You change your dial. What will happen is you will naturally pick up the whole reality of that thing that already exists. So I'd like to speak about law of assumption in a slightly different way. And that is not, Hey, just assume that everything is already done. Instead of that, how about know that everything is for sure already done? Why? Because nothing can be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred. 
Meaning that when you are shifting your energies, your vibrational frequency, when you are saying, hey, I'm going to assume that I already own that car, I already own that house, I already have that uh, perfect partner, right? When you assume, you become the vibrational frequency of what you're assuming. When you become, what's actually happening with law of assumption is you are consciously or unconsciously fine-tuning your vibrational frequency to be the exact vibrational frequency matched to the thing you think you are attracting, but you are purely just changing your frequency. When you change your frequency, the, all the surroundings around you and your reality changes to the exact match of that frequency, right? And why I keep saying that I prefer the idea, uh, the ideology, the psychology, the, 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 the sense that law of assumption makes rather than law of attraction is purely because whenever you're thinking law of attraction, you're trying to attract something that you want. Whenever you are practicing law of assumption instead, you are always becoming the vibrational frequency of something that is already in existence. Therefore, you will manifest it much faster because you are not in lack of, but you are in abundance of because you know that your manifestation is already done. And this is my message for every single one of you today. If you found this video interesting, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button if you learned anything at all. Also, comment below. Let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing up. Namaste. Ciao.